Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church of Chewbacca, and today four more Master Set cards came out for Winter National. I'm going to give them an in-depth true review, rate them one through five Chewies. Just so you know, it does show the 91 overall whenever you get to this tile here, except I'm going to go over the 92 overalls because it adds an extra player synergy onto each of the cards, and when it does that, I think that's important in factoring it in because if you do pull one of these 91s or you want to buy one of them off the auction house, you can create them into the 92 overall or you could just buy a 92 off the auction house. Either way, I think it's crucial that you guys know that from 91 to 92, an extra player synergy gets added and it will be the lower of the two player synergies on the card. So they'll be labeled one, two, and three. The third one is going to be the one that gets dropped off the card between the 91 and 92 overall cards. Before we go into their true reviews, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you know I'm uploading more videos, as well as comment down below about who you guys think is the best Winter National Master Set player, whether it's these four cards or the four cards that originally came out last Friday. You guys let me know. That leaves up eight options that you guys can put in the comments that you guys think is the best one. Let's get into it. Zach Parise. First up, we're going to go over the American-born Zach Parise. He represents the United States of America. He's 5'11", 195 pounds, left-handed shooting. And he has one point for balance for his team synergy. Then his two-player synergies in the 92 overall card is Speedster and Shutdown. What I will say is I actually do think that the 91 Zach Parise is just as good as the 92 Zach Parise, minus the plus one points in all the categories. Except I think they are the same speed, if I'm not mistaken. He might get that plus one in speed. Either way, it's negligible for the difference in price. It's going to be about 150,000 coins in price differential between the 91 and 92. The only reason I say that is because shutdown for a player synergy, not a good player synergy. So honestly, if you lose that player synergy, it's not that big of a deal. Now looking at his skating, he has 89 acceleration, 93 agility, 91 balance, 94 endurance, 89 speed. His shooting, great shot here, 94 Slap shot accuracy, 92 slap shot power, 94 wrist shot accuracy, 92 wrist shot power. His hands are 93 deking, 94 offensive awareness, 92 hand eye, 94 passing, 95 puck control. Defensive category is 86 body checking, 91 strength with 86 aggression. So those are pretty decent. He's 5'11", 195 pounds at 86 body checking. Some of the upper echelon guys, he's not going to really bowl them over. But some of the lower guys in the mid-80s, he'll probably plow them over. And then his checking category here is going to be 94 defensive awareness 91 shot blocking 94 sit checking with 97 discipline so this is a guy that can definitely back check really well what i will say about speedster i think is personally the best player synergy gives you plus four speed that makes this zach parise a little bit more lethal the balance is going to give you plus three endurance plus three wrist shot power plus three deking plus three puck control and plus three defense awareness also what i think is a above average team synergy I think this Parise is very good. He's a little bit on the slower side, and that can hurt the card a little bit. However, I do think with the Speedster, it makes up for it. You're going to have Speedster activated. There's no way you don't have three other guys with Speedster on your team. Because of that, I'm going to give this Zach Parise a four and a half Chewies because he's still player synergy dependent. If you don't have that, he's not that great of a card, if I'm being honest. At least not for the price you're going to have to pay. All these cards are going to be upwards of 600 to 700,000 coins. So these are hefty priced cards. Parise coming in with four and a half Chewies. Eric Carlson. The six foot tall, 191 pound right-handed shooting offensive defenseman from Sweden originally. He's playing for the San Jose Sharks now, as you guys know. And he's one of the best offensive defensemen ever in the NHL. Before his card here, he has one point for Barrage, one point for Gladiator, and one point for Workhorse. Workhorse is going to be the synergy that drops off between 91 and 92. And I did look... And just like I thought with Parise, the speed doesn't change between these 91 and 92s. And this is another card I think that you might as well just stick with the 91. Because Barrage and Gladiator are not great synergies. And then the Workhorse really isn't adding too much. Workhorse is a good synergy, but it's not absolutely amazing. It does have acceleration. So that is factored in. But it's one of those things where like he's already so fast. You're going to have Distributor. I don't know if you'll have Spark or not. But I don't know if there's going to be... A huge difference between acceleration, balance, and endurance. Because he does have 96 endurance. 99 endurance is great, but 96 endurance is amazing too. Uh, either way, I think that he can get away without the workhorse 
for the price differential of 100 to 150,000 coins, in my personal opinion. Looking at the skating, he has 91 acceleration, 95 agility, 88 balance, 96 endurance, and 91 speed. As for a shot, this is one of the better shooting defensemen in the game. 90 slap shot accuracy, 93 slap shot power with 92 wrist shot accuracy and 93 wrist shot power. His hands are absolutely phenomenal. 98 deking, 97 offensive awareness, 97 hand eye, 98 passing, 98 puck control. So he's like the ultimate, like I said, offensive playmaker from the defense. Where this card is going to be a little bit lackluster here is going to be in his defensive category with 84 body checking, 89 strength, 83 aggression. He's not going to be a heavy hitter. He isn't a, that big of a body, so he's not going to body check guys too well. He doesn't body check guys very hard in real life either. He's much more of a play with his stick, poke check, and then he goes off to the races and does a lot of stuff offensively. As for his checking category, 95 defense awareness, wonderful attribute there. 88 shot blocking, 94 stick checking, 58 faceoffs with 88 discipline. So the Carlson's a great defenseman. There's been a lot of master set right-handed defensemen already though, so that hurts the Carlson a little bit, but he is one of the best offensive players when it comes to D, and he's one of the best skaters. He always flies around the ice, and he has great stick control with everything with the 94 stick checking the 95 defense awareness i'm gonna give this eric carlson four and a half chewies just like parise if he had better synergies he would definitely be five chewies and honestly i still would go after the 91 over the 92 just because i think you already get 91 speed you're already getting his skating attributes i don't know if the plus one bump and everything else is worth it because he's still going to be amazing offensively amazing defensively other than the body checking part of him so four and a half chewies Marion Gabaric. The six foot one Slovakian, 201 pounds, left handed shooting. He's one of the fastest skaters in the history of the NHL, especially in the most recent past. He's always been an absolute speedster. They actually have him playing in the like European jersey or whatever this jersey was. This isn't his Slovakian jersey. They have him playing whenever they did like the North American versus the world or whatever that was. Not wearing a Slovakian jersey. Just so you guys know if you're confused about the colors. I can't remember exactly what it's from. It's like Team Europe or something like that. Or like the World Cup or whatever it was. I can't think of what it's off the top of my head, but it, you guys know what I'm talking about. This was Team Europe, like Team Other Europe. Like they had like a Russian team and they had some other like prominent European teams and they had Team Europe from all the countries of like NHL superstars that weren't guys that played in like big countries that have a lot of NHL superstars so they can be competitive. So now we've kind of gone over where the jersey's from uh, and the fact he does play for Slovakia like if they ever play in the Olympics again or if they play in the IIHF in the International Ice Hockey Federation he plays for Slovakia he doesn't play for like Team Europe. I just want to make that clear so you guys weren't confused about why he doesn't have a Slovakian jersey on. As for his team synergy, is one point distributor. He has one point for wingman in his player synergy. Then he has magician as the extra synergy. Another card you're not going to bump for the speed, so I'm not 100% sure if it's worth picking him up. I, I'm kind of in between on this one because magician actually does fill in some of the gaps that Gabrick has, such as his agility being 99, which I think matters a little bit for a bigger guy, six foot one, 201 pounds. I think that's an advantage and magicians better than the other two extra synergies they added on Carlson and on the Parise. As for distributor, you guys already know it's the best team synergy. Wingman's another great individual synergy is going to give you the acceleration, wrist shot accuracy and passing. Looking at the card without any extra attributes boosts from synergies, you're looking at 88 acceleration, 96 agility, 96 balance, 93 endurance, 89 speed. His shooting is 91 slap shot accuracy, 97 slap shot power, 91 wrist shot accuracy, 97 wrist shot power. His hands are 91 across the board except for 92 of puck control. His defense is 90 body checking, 96 strength, 90 aggression. For some reason, they made this Marion Gabrick a tank. Uh, he's never a guy that hit a lot of people, so this is kind of unique. I don't know why they did this, but after they gave Carlson a card that has like low 80s body checking, they give Gabrick a 90 body checking. It is what it is. The checking category here is going to be 91 defense awareness, 86 shot blocking, 91 stick checking with 95 discipline. So you're getting the sniper two-way forward, Marion Gabrick. I do think he's a little bit slow for his card. He obviously has a great team synergy, great player synergy. So we're going to give him four and a half chewies like we gave the other two cards. But this Gabrick without any synergies is worse than the other two cards. Parise and Carlson are better cards than this Gabrick if you take the synergies away. Gabrick's going to half point... Chewy upgrade here because he has distributor. 
which means you don't have to just plug somebody in to finish out distributor. If you do get one of these 91 or 92 bad boys, you can just throw distributor right in there and you can complete wingman and you're not just trying to find somebody to complete wingman. I think those synergies push him to the four and a half Chewies. Otherwise, he'd be four Chewies if you're just looking at the card, which is definitely worse than the Parise and the Carlson, in my personal opinion. I He's just slow. Like, Gabrick wasn't this slow of a skater. I said this on his 89 overall card he had. I just don't think they appreciate how fast of a skater this guy was. 89 speed is not Gabrick speed. That's slow. And I said this before. They're scoring a lot of these cards over with speed that are high-end cards. And when you do that, it creates guys that are like, oh, I'm going to get Gabrick because he's a speedy guy. And he's not fast. Like, it's just disappointing because, like I said, Gabrick was like Pavel Bure fast. Like, that's what they were comparing him to because he's European. I, he speaks a Slavic language. It's just one of those things where it's just a disappointing to see Gabrick not deserving the speed that he, he should have. Nathan McKinnon. The six-foot-tall, 205 right-handed shooting Canadian-born center. He plays for the Colorado Avalanche. Nate McKinnon here. Card's always absolute stud. He always plays above his attributes, in my personal opinion, especially with his base card. This is him pictured with the North American team from that Hockey World Cup. It's not really his Canadian jersey. He's never played for Canada. He's too young for the last time they played in the Olympics. So he honestly has only played for this North American team. He's never actually played even for the Canadian team whenever they had this thing. Because they did like all the under 23 guys run a North American team. If you were in North America. So now you're looking at it right here. His synergy is one point for Spark, one point for Light the Lamp, one point for Magician. This is a card where if you want a useful player synergy, you're going to have to get the 92. Because the 91 does not have Magician. And Light the Lamp is trash. Spark is an above average team synergy. As for the Nate McKinnon with no synergies activated, you're looking at his skating at 92 acceleration, 95 agility, 89 balance, 93 endurance, 92 speed. Those are great skating numbers. He's one of the fastest skaters in the NHL, one of the best skaters in the NHL. And for his shooting, is 92 slap shot accuracy, 94 slap shot power, 94 wrist shot accuracy, 93 wrist shot power. His hands are 95 deking, 96 offensive awareness, 94 hand eye, 95 passing, and 95 puck control. So great hands. The body checking is 86 with strength at 90 and 82 aggression. The checking category is 93 defense awareness, 84 shot blocking, 94 stick checking, 76 faceoffs, and 86 discipline. So this McKinnon is probably the only out of the three cars that I'd recommend getting the 92 over the 91 if you can afford it. You're not going to get the extra speed boost, and I don't know if plus one every attribute's worth it, but adding Magician can make the card a little bit better, as Magician's going to give you the agility, the deking, puck control, all up to 99. Spark's going to give you plus four for acceleration, plus four body checking, plus four strength, and plus four discipline. So it does actually make the McKinnon a little bit better as well. Uh, fills in some of those weaker parts of this card. What I will say about this Nathan McKinnon, though, one of the faster cards, he's going to come with the same price. And I know I'm going to sound like a broken record here. Because of the synergies not being that great, especially the player synergy, I do think this is the best out of the four cards if you're just taking the card itself. There's a little bit of a plethora of right-handed guys that have to play wing. There's not too many guys that are right-handed that can play center. Face-off 76, he's not going to be able to play center. But I'm going to give McKinnon four and a half Chewies. And I know it's the fourth guy in a row of four and a half Chewies. Just none of these guys are way above any of the other guys. I don't think they're much better than last week's. I do think some of the last week's cards were a little bit weaker than this. These cards individually are a lot better. But even like the Gabrick, that's probably the worst card by itself has Distributor, which just like bumps him up some because of the value of the team synergy. So Nate McKinnon, four and a half Chewies. And everyone got four and a half Chewies this week. It's just the way it is. I'm just being honest with these reviews. And I have to be fair with everybody. And if, if Nate McKinnon had distributed at five Chewies, he just doesn't have... Or if he just had a better player synergy, probably at five Chewies. Light the Lamp is just not a good synergy. Balance, wrist shot accuracy, offense awareness, and hand-eye. I just... For skating, the balance just... I mean, it's kind of useful, but it's not anything you go out of your way to get. The wrist shot accuracy is cool, but I do think that wrist shot power matters a little bit more this year in the game compared to accuracy, my, in my personal opinion. Uh, we can debate that in the comments if you guys want. But as for offense awareness and hand-eye, I just don't see the need of them if they're already so high. So either way, that's the review on Nathan McKinnon. All right, boys, that's going to wrap up the true reviews of these four cards, the Parise, Carlson, Gabrick, and McKinnon. We went over their 92 overall versions of the cards. Everybody got four and a half Chewies, unfortunately. It's just kind of the way it went between the cards being different and their synergies. 
I do think that if you're going to pick up just one card and you're going to plug him into your team, no synergies thought about, you're picking Nate McKinnon. I think he's going to play better than the other three cards. Or if you do need a defenseman, Eric Carlson. But I do think Carlson and McKinnon are the two best cards just by the cards themselves. I personally think that Gabrick's great for somebody if you need another distributor and you have the coins to pick up a top-tier player that can give you distributor as well as he has wingman. The Parise, I just like Parise, but I do think he's probably one of the weaker cards when it comes to Synergy and player card by itself. But I, I do like the McKinnon without any synergies, in my personal opinion. I hope you guys liked this review. I hope it helped you out to decide which one of the four to go after. We're going to go after any of them. If you're not, I just hope you enjoyed the video and learned something about these cards. I appreciate all the support you guys with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with any of your friends that play NHL 21. Really helps grow the channel. Helps the YouTube algorithm for more people to watch these Chewy reviews. You guys have a great day and be safe.